Probably the best known supplement ever is vitamin C and with good reason. This antioxidant serves the body in a multitude of ways. And I'm sure you've heard people saying something like this all the time. I've been taking vitamin C every day and I'm never sick. Is this all hype? Is, there, is any of this true? And when you typically ask these people, most of them are saying they are mega dosing on vitamin C. Well, the question that needs to be asked is this, is mega dosing safe on vitamin C and is it scientifically based or is it just opinion? Hi, I'm Dr. Lawrence Woods from The Spinery and today I'm gonna to talk about how perhaps mega dosing on vitamin C could potentially be detrimental to your health. Vitamin C is indispensable for the synthesis of elastin and collagen. And elastin and collagens are the proteins that give us strength and elasticity to things like your skin, your hair, your nails, your tendons, uh, ligaments, arterial walls, bones, cartilage, and many, many other tissues. And without these proteins, it may lead to wrinkles, uh, breathing conditions such as emphysema, diverticulitis, and even bone loss such as osteoporosis or osteoarthritis and many other disorders. Furthermore, the immune system relies on vitamin C for the production of antibodies, uh, interferons, immune enzymes, and immune cells. The primary cause of vitamin C deficiency is stress, and stress can cause the adrenal glands to become overworked, increasing the need for vitamin C for proper function of these adrenal glands. And since the adrenal glands receive the priority of vitamin C over the rest of the body, this reduces available levels to other parts of the body. This means stimulants such as caffeine, nicotine, can overwork your adrenal glands, reducing the vitamin C levels in the body. Now that we have established the importance of vitamin C, you may be wondering to yourself, if vitamin C is so vital, then why shouldn't we be taking loads of this stuff? If a little does us good, then more must be even better, right? However, many substances that are good for the body can be actually harmful, even deadly or fatal in large amounts. For example, even water can be poisonous or fatal in high amounts. Megadosin of vitamin C was first popularized among cancer patients. They believe that large amounts of vitamin C would have health benefits that we've already discussed, such as boosting the immune system, destroying pathogens, protecting the body from free radicals. Uh, they thought that megadose in vitamin C could be done quite safely since vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin. This means that excess amounts of vitamin C can be simply flushed out of the body. However, as we will now discuss, even short-term megadosing of vitamin C may cause problems in some people. Additionally, the risk of harmful effects significantly increases with long-term use of excessive amounts of this vitamin. To be clear, vitamin C does boost the immune system and it does protect the body from free radical damage and excess vitamin C can indeed be flushed from the body. The practice of vitamin C megadosin does present some safety issues, however. For example, excessive vitamin C intake is also known to displace the B vitamins from the body. Vitamin B12, for example, is essential for the development of blood cells, and not having enough B12 can lead to a problem known as macrocytic anemia. Now, macrocytic anemia is a condition that leads to the formation of abnormally large red blood cells, which decreases the red blood cells' ability to carry oxygen, and reduced oxygen levels may lead to fatigue, muscle weakness, shortness of breath. Furthermore, macrocytic anemia may also cause abnormally large white blood cells. Now, white blood cells are an essential component of the immune system. Therefore, B12 deficiency may impair immune function. Lastly, vitamin B12 deficiency may cause nerve damage, leading to nerve pain, numbness, or loss of some senses. Mental disturbances may also develop, including depression, dementia, paranoia, irritability, and delirium. Something else to consider is that while vitamin C is a water-soluble compound, it's still a relatively unstable compound. This is why you might have heard to keep vitamin C in a cool, dark place. A portion of the excess ingested vitamin C breaks down into oxalic acid in the body. Now, oxalic acid is a complicated since it can be both good and bad for the body. Something to consider about oxalic acid is that it can bind with minerals forming insoluble oxalates. For example, calcium oxalate is one of these insoluble oxalates, and calcium oxalate can lead to the formation of kidney stones. There have been studies that have shown that oxalic stones, which make up 80% of kidney stones, only seem to form in people with kidney problems or kidney diseases, and not in healthy people who ingest a daily dose of, let's say, 200 milligrams of vitamin C. And additionally, for healthy individuals who intake uh, 1,500 milligrams of vitamin C, there was only a small increase in the chance of having oxalic stones. And it's suggested that a slight rise is because the body poorly absorbs vitamin C. Therefore, the higher levels of vitamin C are not being absorbed and therefore are not converted into oxalic acid. And this means that if you have kidney problems or any kidney issues, 
you should be wary of taking high levels of vitamin C. Oxalic acid also binds with electrolytes such as potassium, sodium, and mineral magnesium. The function of sodium and potassium include the regulation of heart rate, and magnesium serves a, a multitude of vital functions, including proper muscle function and maintaining a healthy blood pressure. Oxalic acid is also an irritant to the urinary tract, and irritation uh, of the urinary tract uh, from oxalic acid can lead to a urinary tract infection in sensitive individuals. Additionally, there's also a concern that vitamin C may lead to uric acid stone formation from excess excretion of uric acid. The acidification of urine with vitamin C increases the proportion of uric acid relative to the more soluble water sodium urate. And because of this, the treatment for uric acid stones typically includes like alkalinization of urine with baking soda or calcium citrate to promote sodium urate formation. Safety studies of daily doses up 200 to 1500 milligrams are really conflicting. There are no safety studies of extremely high doses as far as I'm aware of up to over 20,000 milligrams a day. And because of this, I would not recommend anyone taking more than 2000 milligrams daily, even for healthy individuals. And to be safe, I would recommend splitting it up, 500 milligrams three times a day for most people. The recommended amount is slightly higher for individuals who are under lots of stress, such as stimulant users, people who drink lots of coffee, tea, etc., and those who take medications who are, that are known to deplete vitamin C. A primary concern of taking extreme doses of vitamin C is the fact that when taken in large amounts can hinder the absorption of copper. Copper has many functions in the body, including the production of copper superoxide dism dismutase, which is a big word, but it's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-stimulate enzyme. Now, copper is necessary for both the production of elastin and collagen, and this is vital for your blood vessels, your skin. Uh, it gives elasticity, elasticity and strength to these tissues. Additionally, copper plays a role, a vital role in the production of neurotransmitters for good nerve function. It also plays a factor in the production of melanin. Copper helps prevent graying of the hair. Furthermore, copper helps maintain proper levels of blood fats, including cholesterol. Decreased copper levels can lead to decreased elastin and collagen synthesis, and this could lead to bone loss, uh, blood vessel weakness, wrinkles, poor wound healing, uh, tendon and ligament weakness, cartilage disorders, bruising, and gum disorders. I hope it didn't scare you with all this news about vitamin C, but I just wanted to open up a can of reality. Uh, I hope you like it. If you do, give us a, a like and, and hit that bell, and I will see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.